why do I So Port Credit, it's basically the community within a big city. So Mississauga is becoming a big, large city. And that community, that heart of that village along Lakeshore is definitely something that we can talk about. So we have summer festivals, we have winter festivals, and the community holds tight. So what I mean by that, like, there's, there's a heritage along Lakeshore and these smaller streets in the community. And some of these pubs and restaurants have been here for a long, long, long time. So, and definitely it's something to celebrate. And um, you kind of feel that vibe once you are in the community and once you live here. So the next big point is obviously transportation. So once you live in this neighborhood, uh, the access to uh, Toronto downtown, it is very easy and easily accessible. So if you're within this community, you're usually within a walking distance to a GO train station that will take you to downtown Union within 15 to 20 minutes. So basically, poor credit, you have Long Branch, Mimico, Exhibition, and then you're right in Union Downtown Station. So that's definitely a huge, huge, huge uh, benefit when you live in this area. Another big benefit is the LRT system that is being built along the Huron Ontario Corridor uh, all the way to square one. So that will come up within the next few years and it will add to your transportation. Now, when it comes to buses, I mean, poor credit is a hub uh, hub to all the my way transportation along Lakeshore, along um, here Ontario, and all these smaller streets that connect you to Cathra, uh, Dixie Mall, uh, all the way on the other side uh, to um, Clarkson and etc. So it's definitely something uh, that you can use once you live in this area. It gets you access to uh, East and the West End. So half an hour with the vehicle to downtown Toronto, 20 minutes to the airport, and then all the way to Niagara Falls on the West End, which you can get to uh, in about, I would say an hour and 15 minutes. So having said that, let's go into some pricing, uh, very exciting. So this is all current. All this data has been taken from the MLS. So we have a beautiful house here. It's listed at 1 million, 429,900, uh, four bedroom, great size lot, 40 wide by 150 deep. And the interesting part about poor credit, like you will have a property like this uh, in the heart of downtown uh, poor credit. And then on the same street, just a couple of houses down, you will have a listing that's listed at 7,999,900. So, close to $8 million on the same street. So you will have a neighbor that has an $8 million listing at this point, but a home. So, so mid range here, I would say uh, would be a $3 million, would be a mid range, uh, beautiful house. Uh, I'm sure you can get obviously in the market within 1.429 at this point per this listing when it comes to freehold detached homes. Um, something to think about is obviously um, semi-detached homes. Uh, this one in particular, it's a new build, uh, 22 wide lot by 115 deep, uh, just under $2 million, more than 2,500 square feet, beautiful. If you have any questions uh, of any type of properties in poor credit, 
please give me a call. I will have my info below. And if you want to see any of these listings, these are not my listings, courtesy of these brokerages and the listing agents, but it's definitely something uh, worth looking at. So moving forward, um, now let's get into a condo market. So for a one bedroom, a one full bathroom, uh, you can get yourself uh, um, 725 square feet. Uh, listed price at just under $600,000. Mind you, you will not get a parking spot with this, but you will be literally walking distance, uh, literally across the street walking distance from the GO train station. So if you are using um, the GO line on at, at all and, and you need access to downtown, it's something maybe, you know, something to think about at $600,000. Now, obviously, poor credit um, has an upscale, a luxury, uh, luxury segment of condos, and this particular one has been listed at uh, five million dollars. Uh, it is right on the lake, on Lake Ontario. Uh, beautiful uh, southern views and southeast views of uh, downtown Toronto skyline and the water and all of that stuff. And this particular. Um, the building has been recently uh, completed. It's brand new. I don't think anyone lived in this in, in this property. And uh, this unit uh, has 2,920 square feet. So definitely something, <laughs> definitely something um, interesting here, right? Like, I mean, obviously it, 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 the price tag is just under $5 million, but it's, it's definitely interesting to see that you can purchase a $600,000 condo and you can purchase a $5 million condo at the same time. So this interesting uh, property here uh, that will hit the market uh, today or tomorrow morning uh, is, is a townhouse, uh, comes with maintenance fees, but it's listed at $1.5 million and has 2,206 square feet. So it gets you the full three bedroom, three bathrooms, um, double double uh, car garage. Uh, it'll get you over 2,000 square feet. Uh, it'll get you all kinds of stuff. And you will be able to walk to the lake within one minute. So definitely something to think about. These units are over 20 years old, but well, well, well constructed and well kept community uh, and one well-kept uh, townhouse complex. So moving on to poor credit, I mean, uh, just living in poor credit, you get to feel that exclusivity. You also get to feel that, you know, lake effect, like like the, the, the vibrancy of, of summertime when every everyone is visiting. Poor credit is a, is a destination where other parts of Mississauga or other cities from GTA actually come here to visit. So it, it, it's something to be proud of, number one. Number two, uh, it is brilliant. They have all the pati uh, patios along Lakeshore and stuff like that. They, they got uh, the permits to have these patios and, and like in front of their uh, pubs and restaurants and bars. So it's phenomenal, right? Like it's very vibrant, beautiful. And, um, and then you have these festivals, events uh, throughout the entire summer. Uh, they keep changing and concerts, musicals and all kinds of stuff. So it's very interesting, right? So um, add, adding to that is also the lifestyle. Like living here, you also pay uh, obviously, you pay a premium price for a premium product, but you also have a lifestyle. You will see a lot of people jog, a lot of people on bicycles, roll, rollerblades, like you name it. Like, like it's so like there's the community has there's a lot of dogs. It's it's I think it's pet friendly because wherever I look, somebody's walking with uh, with the dog and stuff like that. So. So I think it's definitely something to, to, to look at. Um, transportation, like we mentioned, is phenomenal. Uh, schools are great. Uh, there's even private schools in the neighborhood. 
Uh, they are um, from, from elementary all the way to high school, all, all of the school ratings are brilliant. Transportation is great, even if you have uh, children that are teenagers or, or young adults and stuff like that, for them to, to actually maneuver around the city wherever they need to go is very, very easy from this particular area. So, uh, Port Credit is also hosting one of the biggest projects uh, in, in, in Ontario, I can say. It's Brightwater and, and have like over 144 acres of land that that is being developed right on the lake. So that's a huge, huge indicator that this uh, community and the area is exploding, is being rejuvenated to better, right? So then um, when you walk like right in downtown, like downtown core and these older apartment buildings and these condominium buildings and these smaller little homes that have a land value at this point, right? Like the home itself doesn't have value, but there's that land value that can be developed into uh, a building or, or maybe a couple of uh, townhouses and stuff like that. So a lot of that is happening, right? So definitely that GO train attracts uh, attracts uh, the white collar and, and attracts, um, obviously it's demanding the price for it, but it's selling. I mean, like whoever wants to be here, they definitely understand uh, the difference between living here and living you know, an hour, hour and a half from downtown Toronto. I mean, those are two different products. I understand the price is different, but the product is also different. The location is different. The accessibility and the mobility, it's, it's, it's totally different. So uh, I spoke to a friend of mine, a colleague the other, the other day, and, and we just took a GO train down to downtown. And even he mentioned, he's like, look, if I didn't live maybe in this neighborhood, like, I don't know if I, could have pulled it off just like that. Like we decided last minute, are we gonna go? We're not gonna drive, let's take the go. Great, so we were there within 15, 20 minutes. Perfect, we came back, perfect. So this is definitely something to think about. So it checks a lot of things. Prime location, a luxury lifestyle, lake, schools, summer events, winter events. Uh, it can accommodate all ages from young teenagers, kids, uh, young adults, professionals, and all kinds. So I think uh, that if we could summarize everything, I would definitely, definitely say that this is the best community and the best neighborhood in entire Mississauga. You know what? You might think differently. P please comment below. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of these properties that we have just mentioned. And let me know if you have any further questions. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It does help with the algorithm. And I will see you next time.